All right, let's talk LEL sensors, or as it's labeled here, combustible explosive sensor. So good news, that sensor is reading zero, means it's not explosive in here. So I think everybody gets that. Zero means you're not in any danger of blowing up. The trouble with LEL sensors is we're talking about two different percentages when we're talking about flammable environments. We're talking about the percentage of flammable gas in the air. That's if we divided this room up into 100 boxes and we filled five of those boxes with natural gas, this room would be 5% natural gas. So that's the percentage of concentration of gas in the room, which is a very different thing from the percentage that's showing up on your LEL sensor. These are different numbers. So let me explain what that means. If we have natural gas, and this is 100% concentration in air. So at this point, Every single one of those hundred boxes in this room is full of nothing but natural gas and no air. And over here, we've got zero, and the flammable range of natural gas is about 5% to about 15%. So in between here, it will burn. That's the LEL, that's the UEL. So if I come to you and I say, hey, the percentage is seven, the percentage is 10, you got to ask yourself, am I talking about the percentage of natural gas in this room or am I talking about the LEL? Because they're different. The LEL sensor measures this range from here to here. This is the LEL reading. This is the natural gas concentration. So if we're reading 7%, on the LEL sensor, it does not mean that you are here. It does not mean you're in the flammable range. It means you are 7% between zero and the low end of the explosive range, otherwise known as the LEL. So the way I like to express it is the LEL sensor is a measure of how screwed you are on a scale of zero to 100. When the LEL sensor or the combustible explosive sensor here is reading 100, you are 100% screwed. If it's reading 100 and that's working perfectly accurately and a couple of other things, so I'm, I'm fudging over some of the details here just to get the big picture. But if that's reading 100%, you are 100% screwed. And if you have a match and it's lit and you walk into a 100% LEL environment, it's going to explode. You're not here. You're not at 100%. You are now here at 5%. So if we take a different gas, so we take propane. Up here we have 100% of concentration of propane gas in the air. 100 boxes, each of those boxes is full of propane. And down here we have zero, and the flammable range of propane is roughly two to call it 10%. So the flammable range is in here. If my LEL sensor, goes into alarm, which happens at 10%. Because in Canada and the United States, you're allowed to go into an enclosed space and get up to 10% of LEL readings. Above that, you have to back out, and I'll show you why in a second. This is reading 10%. The LEL sensor is reading 10%. You are not here. You are 10% between here and here. You are 10% of the way to being completely screwed. So you're actually here. If you want to do some math, you could say, 2% is the LEL concentration. If you're getting a 10% reading on your LEL sensor, the actual concentration there is 0.2%. So there are two different percentages we're dealing with. Number one, concentration of the gas in the air. And number two, the reading on the LEL sensor. This reading is more important because this reading determines whether you live or you die. You can be wearing an ACE suit. You can be wearing a respiratory protection. If that blows up, you're dead. So, years ago, went to a warehouse. There's some natural gas heaters up here. And there was a natural gas line that went through the ceiling, down, and then outside to the natural gas meter. There's the door that we came in. A forklift ruptured this pipe. So it was spilling out natural gas into the warehouse. Natural gas 
is lighter than air, so it was going up. We walked in through the door, and our LEL sensor was reading 11%. So I said before, the flammable range of natural gas is 5 to 15%. So if you don't understand this, you might think to yourself, well, 5% is the LEL of natural gas. This is 11%. This is flammable here. No, it's not. 5% is the LEL, and you are 11% of the way from zero to that LEL to being completely screwed. So I could have walked in here with a match. I could have walked in here with a flamethrower. I could have walked in here with a torch. Nothing would have happened here. The reason the law says you have to get out is because if it's 11% here, what is it up here? It's going to be much higher than 11%. Somewhere up here is the point where you go to 100% of LEL. And then if there's a spark up in here, it doesn't matter if it's not going to ignite down here. If there's a spark up here, the whole roof catches on fire, blows up, maybe brings the roof down on top of me, burns me alive down below. So there's a, a safety margin in built in there. If we're going in for a propane leak and I walk in the front door and I'm getting 20%, which was the old uh, limit of what you used to be able to go into, I'm getting 20%, I have to be really, really, really careful. I should leave because maybe it's only 20% in here and that's not going to light on fire here. But around the corner is an open propane tank and it's pissing out propane. And if that propane hits an ignition source, it doesn't matter the bottles around the corner or the big cloud of flammable gases around the corner, that wave of gas could come towards me and light everything on fire. Now, I'm simplifying a little bit because uh, there are adjustment factors that you need to apply to the LEL sensor depending on which gas you're looking at, if you want to be really precise. It's kind of like a PID. A PID gives you a reading of a PPM and you have to apply a correction factor. With an LEL sensor, you can also apply a correction factor. The correction factors aren't as big as a PID. So as long as you're going with a 10% rule, you may not actually be at 10%. You might be at 15%. You might be at 8%. But you're not going to be at 100 That's why the 10% rule is there. So the difference between the percentage which is talking about the concentration of the gas in the air and the percentage, which is the percentage that's showing up on your LEL sensor, which has been properly calibrated, uh, is different. Now, uh, there's a different video talking about the function and the mechanics behind the LEL sensor. I'll link to that, that's longer. But this is just a crash course in interpreting what the readings on your LEL sensor mean and when it tells you you should get the hell out.